Morning. <laughs> it's a little frosty out here. And the trees have uh, changed color. Well, that's something you don't see every day. Uh, steam coming off the frost off the top of the air conditioner. Yep, she's nice and frosty out today. We got our first frost tonight. Oh, look at this frosty coming off my turkey. We have got we have got some uh, stuff to do today, but we're not going to do it quite this early. I was going to, but uh, it's just too frosty out. Trees look pretty and everything, but yeah, it got down to the uh, what do you call it? Like upper 27 and 28 is what it got here last night. Nice and frosty. Well, as you can see, we're cultivating. Well, kind of. <laughs> we are dethatching this lawn. This lawn hasn't been dethatched, as you can tell. That's one pass. You can see all the thatch that's coming up. We're getting ready to try to do a new program with this lawn next year, so you definitely want to stay tuned. I'm going to be following a little bit of the Lawn Care Nuts program this lawn even better we've already got it uh, dethatched over here as you can tell it is very very striped <laughs> no nonetheless but as you can see down in here we have I mean ripped out and loosened a lot of this thatch that's your thatch layer right there that we've ripped up as you can see the roots Everything can get some air. This is really bad. It actually probably wouldn't hurt to be gone over again uh, It has loosened it you, a little thatch is okay, but that's too much. That's broken down grass clippings and, I mean Everything in there. I mean, yeah, you'll get some grass in there some good stuff But we're gonna come in and put some winterizer lawn fertilizer down on this This here section we've got a problem with crabgrass has taken over and we're gonna probably either try to dethatch that real heavily and possibly rototill it this spring and reseed it uh, probably just come in here actually and cut the sawed grass layer off right in this section because everything else looks to be pretty good but it's this section about yeah, about right in here we're actually gonna treat for it a lot heavier next year uh, I would like to just come in I mean it's it's pretty much dying off now the crabgrass we did get our first frost this morning so let's go take a look at the front lawn and then we will grab the grasshopper and start to suck all this stuff up what we're really going to try to push next year to get better it was really good when we started mowing this lawn and then this year the crabgrass just took over we have to trim this tree too it's full of cherries but it needs trimmed both of them do you get out here and prune them at the bottom. So we went over this one like six or seven times. It's it's powder. You can see me kicking it there. So it's uh, as you can see the frost has gotten to the plants. Also in probably the last two times of mowing. I don't know if anything else will change. But uh, I've had this little. I actually want to thank Sean Strader for. <laughs> For giving me this I have used it and used it and used it and I wouldn't mind having a little bigger one It's a little bit bigger than the lower. This is only a 42. I wish I had like a, a 48 inch or a 50 inch when they do make them a little bigger So uh, pulling it behind the oh, what do you call it? We've got the grasshopper here with a Bagging steel so we'll cut a little shorter and we'll suck all that up and then we will haul it off let the lawn breathe. So what it does, you got the mower blades up in here. These are not gator blades though. I need to be putting gator blades on these. When I start doing leaves, they will chop up the leaves a heck of a lot better. But for grass, I want as much wind power as possible. So we've got, of course, three blades under here. And then there's a big uh, impeller in here with a bunch of sharp blades on it. And then it blows it up into here and back into here. So it goes up in there and uh, blows it all out. It's belt driven. It's got a shaft that comes up that connects to this pulley and uh, drives it with the deck. So we're going to go ahead and I also got the push mower out in case there were some places I couldn't get really close with so I could bag with push mower. So.
Well, and that looks a heck of a lot better. I mean, that looks fantastic. That looks great. As you can see, you can see now that we got the thatch off, you can see the, the bad spot we have right here. This I'm gonna probably till up next spring and I'm gonna reseed it, just this area. Probably this whole area here. I'm just gonna come in and probably come in and cut the grass off, dirt off with the sod cutter and then come in and rototill it, put some fertilizer down in it and seed it heavily and see if we can get that green again. It was green and then like I said, the crabgrass is died off. So now you can kind of see more where the crabgrass is. So we've still got a little bit more over here to do and probably wouldn't hurt. There's a few spots here, like here's some, here's some thatchy, weedy, crabby grass kind of stuff. that's trying to die off. Said I might come back in the spring and do this again. But as you can see, look at that. You can see down to the dirt. I mean, more air. I mean, there's still a little bit down in there, and it probably wouldn't hurt to go over it again with a dethatcher. Rip some more out. I mean, it's just so much better down in there for the grass to. And I did cut it a lot shorter, only to get the clippings up, but also to help help with the uh, uh, you know air and everything. There is some tracks out here. It's all good. A couple of rains and by spring we'll probably hit this one one more time this year and uh, make it look better let me go show you the front one show you how much better it looks hey can i get an ice cream cone all righty well you can see the grooves here we did take a lot you can see the brown level has kind of went down there's still a little bit more right in here and i'm going to run the thatcher right over that area again just kind of break that loose a little bit more but what was all brown up in here, the dead crabgrass, we did get a lot of that out. So we got a little bit in here. Probably wouldn't hurt to go over it a little bit more. And uh, make it look better. But it's definitely opened up this yard. This yard will do a heck of a lot better. I will aerate again in the spring since uh, it was kind of dry when I did it last time. Didn't get the best cores pulled. I did get some, but now would be almost ideal time to aerate. So I'm gonna go over there and get that side aerated, come back over here and do these, suck up the rest. We got the neighbors to do, and uh, yeah, Clint should be here soon. So let's get to it. All right, all done. Looks great, looks clean. You can see the lines, you can see the thatch. You can tell that the lawn is so much thinner. This grass will go to town. You can tell that the dogs are happy over there. Doggies, a lot better between these two machines. Looks really good. Dethatched and leaf cleanups. Kind of did it all. He got his lawn bag this time, basically. You can still see a few of the plugs that are still trying to fall apart. But as you can see down there, you can see dirt. We'll overseed. I will put a bit of fertilizer down on this this fall. That'll help too in the spring. And then right after we get our first good freeze, I'm going to put a high nitrogen. Uh, fertilizer on this so when it warms up in the spring this grass will grab the nitrogen and take off.